topic that we are going now is checkpoints. Checkpoints are very easy to understand, nothing much. In real project, we may not use these checkpoints as well because we use with conditional statements, other ways to manage, compare the object properties. Checkpoints by default available with QTP, but all the sophisticated or level one companies may not use the checkpoints at all. The reason being in QTP, one of the disadvantages, the viewing of reports. Viewing of reports is not as simple. There is no consolidated reports. If I have one or two scenarios, the report what he gives is good, elaborate, perfect. But when I have thousands of scenarios running in a batch, you cannot expect the end user or the people who want to see the bug, go to individual scenario, identify which scenario is failed, open the report and then take your bug report. It is not practically viable when I am doing an automation with thousands of scenarios. So under such situation, we have a framework that will ensure you create a bug report in an Excel sheet format or in the format that is most suitable to your need. And we prepare a consolidated HTML sheet to ensure that the bugs are or the summary status, total test cases executed X, total test cases failed Y, total test cases passed Z, etc. And each defects where the defect is stored using a link etc. You can create such things. That is also possible. These are all driven by the framework. So because of this reason, checkpoints are not used majorly by most of the sophisticated companies. Still feature is there. We take it as per the standard. In this checkpoints, once we complete all the checkpoints, most important part will be database checkpoint and database connectivity. There we may take more time. So we'll first go with checkpoints. What are all the available checkpoints and the checkpoints that we are going to see as we proceed. There are following checkpoints are available as in QTP. One is called standard checkpoint. Standard checkpoint deals with objects and its properties. I can check single property, single property check or multiple property check can be done using object standard checkpoint. So whenever we are dealing with class of an object and I want to check the property of an object, I can use standard checkpoint. Bitmap checkpoint to check images. Compare images during record and replay. Very useful feature. This is also available. Text checkpoint. Text checkpoint to compare text of the application. I can use text checkpoint. So text checkpoint is to compare text from the application or of an object. Either of the two, I can use text checkpoint. Text checkpoint has two things. One is text area checkpoint. Another is text checkpoint. Another is text area checkpoint. 
text area checkpoint portion of the text can be checked that is text area checkpoint next you have XML checkpoint there are two options one is from application second from resource from resource allows to compare two XML files and give the result from application in case the application uses XML format in display or to the object then XML from application can be used last database checkpoint Database checkpoint is to compare two databases or to check the runtime value of the column or a field used in the database for a given criteria. So this is also allowed. So these are all the checkpoints that we are going to see. Standard checkpoint, bitmap checkpoint, text checkpoint, text area checkpoint, XML checkpoint, XML checkpoint from resource, another XML checkpoint from application, database checkpoint.